The House of Representatives investigating MDA's job racketeering and gross mismanagement of the integrated payroll and personnel information system has summoned the IPPIS Desk Office and the Federal Character Commission, FCC, Haruna Kolo, as well as Issa Ahmed and all IPPIS management to appear before the lawmakers on Friday alongside Federal Character Commission. This is coming after the chairman of the commission, Farida Dankaka, disclosed that Haruna Kolo has been fingered in illegal employment and extorting money from innocent Nigerians. This is the third time the ad hoc committee is meeting to unravel the secrecy involved in illegal employment in some ministries, agencies, and parastatals in the country. So far, the ad hoc committee has received petitions against 39 MDAs over allegations of job racketeering and other infractions. The committee requested that a managing director of AMCAN should appear before the committee to answer questions as to how Mr. Kolo was employed the AMCON without resigning from Federal Character Commission. Let's yeah. appear here on Friday on Felili together with the Federal Character. We have established within the little openings that aside of the things we are relying in, on Federal Character to give us regarding to other agencies, Federal character itself has a question to answer regarding to employment recklessness. Vaida Dankaka, in her submission, hold the committee that employment has been carried out, but not yet captured on the integrated payroll and personnel information system. The letter that we went out is the fourth my signature because when I came in, as if I knew, I went to meeting and printing. The MD was in my office. And I begged them to change our letterhead paper to do a, a, a new uh, waiver in, 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 in form of certificate, security, and it was torn. So as at the time they signed this one, because I have this one under my law in, in the office, they don't have access to it. They use the old letterhead paper, which was distributed around, and that was what they used and signed with my signature. They forged it. Speaking also before the committee, the head of civil service of the Federation for La Shade, Yemiesa, also accused some agencies of violating waivers given to them on job recruitment. Have violated the, 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 the waivers, several. And we've also discovered some IPPIS staff in some MDs that are also perpetrating um, some evil in the system. And what we do consistently is that once we discover that there's, there's, some, there's some foul play, we inform ICPC immediately. We do a letter, inform ICPC, and then we start disciplinary action against them. Meanwhile, Mr. Abdullah Mak Isa Ahmed from Adamawa State said the chairman lied to the committee that he is a beneficiary of the recruitment carried out in 2023 and did his IPPIS in October 2021, but was denied posting by same Haruna Kolo. You were employed when? 2021, sir. 2021? Yes, sir. I did my IPPIS October 14, 2021. And ever since then, I've been making requests for the, my posting, and I was kept on, he kept on posting me, especially Kolo, who gave me the appointment letter. Please, Kolo. Um, he convinced me to be the executive chairman's special aide. In another development, Enugu State Commissioner Gini Kato threatened to sue the FCC chairman, Farida Dankaka, for defamation of character, who accused her of not being educated to be a commissioner in the agency. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.